want to share with you some modifications and go over the form in your push-ups. Now, if you think back to your plank video that you just watched, you want to engage that exact same plank position at the top of your push-up. Elbows straight out in front, or sorry, your hands directly under your shoulders when you're in that plank position. Now, when we pull up, remember in our plank, we talked about pushing that ground away from you to activate that back. Same thing in your push-ups. So I'm gonna show you full push-ups first. We'll go over some different modification options and what your arms and elbows should be doing on your push-ups, okay? So you start in that nice high plank position, hands directly under you, core braced and tight. And then as you, so you're starting here, your back is tight, you're pushing the ground away as you come down. You want those elbows to stay close and your hands should end up almost right along that bra line, really. That's kind of where you want it to be. So you don't want them to be out here in front. Definitely don't want them way back here. Right around that chest or bra line area, that's where you want your hands to be and your elbows close. And we push back up, extending all the way through that back. Now in this, I find it's better if you look forward a little bit so that you don't end up slumping and falling, right? So what I do not want to see is as you slump and fall, and you go here, and, and we don't want the elbows to be flaring out wide, and you're falling like this, that's not gonna work your chest and the muscles that it's supposed to work. So get in that good tight plank, look out in front a little bit, keep your elbows in close, come down towards your chest, push back up. Now what I mean by the elbows in close, from here, you guys are the ground. I do my push up, my arms come in this way, towards that bra line, squeezing the shoulder blades, those back muscles, and then push back through, really trying to consciously activate those muscles in through your chest. And I know it's hard because those are hard ones for us women to build. But they're in there. Really try to consciously think, use my chest, push the chest, and try and engage, tighten that core, elbows in tight. So we don't want to see elbows flared out this way, and we don't want to see the hands out in front. Right in here, as you come in, see how I have this small degree of angle here in my armpit. That's what you wanna go for when you do push-ups, any variation that you do. All right, so now, one modification we have is the knee push-up. So you're gonna have your knees down. This modification can also be for any plank position movement that you're doing, you can always be on your knees. So you still wanna keep this line tight, activate your core, and you still want your hands to be directly under your shoulders, not out in front. So hands directly under, tighten your core like a plank, and then your elbows still stay in tight, push up here, and come back up. So we don't want to snake, that's called snaking. We don't want to be arching the back to come down in the push up. Keep it tight and active, come down towards that bra line, push back up. Now I'll show you a bench variation. Same idea with our bench. You want your hands right under your shoulders, those elbows to stay in close. You're going to come down to the bench or edge of the couch or the bottom of your stairs, whatever you have. You can use a chair. From here, same thing, elbows in close, looking out in front, keeping that neck straight, and tighten your core. All right, ladies, have fun with those push ups. Do the version that you can keep the best form with. Do not try and push a higher level if you can't keep the form well on it. Alright ladies, have fun!